Bonjour. 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 Look, there she goes, that girl is strange but special. A most peculiar mademoiselle. I want adventure in the great wide somewhere. I want it more than I can tell. Hi, Jada. Welcome back to Sydney once again. Um, can I just first say, first thing off the bat, um, you were brilliant in Phantom. I oh. just adored it. It was fantastic. And I was really pleased to see um, that you were announced for this production. Oh. Um, and there is some really interesting parallels, I guess, with being the Beast and Phantom on kind of some level, uh, from the gothic <laughs> kind of elements to it. Um, uh, how's it been um, bringing this production? What can audiences look forward to um, in Sydney? Oh, thank you so much for saying that. That's yeah. very kind. Um, I think Sydney audiences are in for a real treat with this particular production. Yeah. Uh, it's brand new, it's reimagined, it's very large and lavish and epic. Uh, it's the story that we know and love, so there's going to be kind of memories brought back and a lot of nostalgia for people that know and love the story and for brand new audiences young and old i just think they're going to be taken on such a ride um, it has highs and it has lows and um, sad moments and happy moments and yeah i just can't wait to hear more sydney audiences respond in the way that they have done in previews i feel very lucky there's something i remember seeing it in uh, 92 there's something so magical about that film just even from the intro um yeah. What was your first experience with the animated motion picture and how have you found the differences between the theatrical Broadway production and um, in the film? I, well, first of all, this is, uh, this new reimagined version is the full Broadway length musical, uh, which I think is always very exciting to see a, a musical. It's live, you know, live orchestra, live performances, live singing, live dancing. Um, but obviously there is something extremely special about that animated feature. Um, I don't remember it too much. What I remember more is performing in this particular show and production 21 years ago in the UK because it was my first job. <laughs> so um, I couldn't believe that I'd first of all been booked in a musical let alone Beauty and the Beast. So the fact that I get to come back to it and retell this story through the eyes of Mrs Potts is just so special, so wonderful. Speaking of Mrs. Potts, yes. um, <laughs> extremely uh, big shoes to fill, especially oh. with, with the British element, and Angela Lansbury really kind of set that role up. What's your creative process been like in kind of conjuring that character up in, in I guess, honouring the original, but also making it your own? And, and Absolutely. That sort of it's the most beautiful responsibility I think I've almost ever been given. Um, big shoes to fill, obviously, huge, and people have an idea of what they want to see and hear, um, and I'm hoping that I'm delivering that with my own unique kind of spin and take on Mrs. Potts. I think that character of Mrs. Potts resembles really great, wonderful ideals in, in people as well. Like, uh, has what elements has that allowed you to explore that you haven't explored with like previous roles? I guess Phantom was a bit of a different role where you're kind of, you know, oh quite gosh. stern in that. This is a lot of um, compassion and, and kind of and generosity. How's uh, that been exploring those elements? Oh, it's so wonderful to explore all the facets of uh, Mrs. Potts. I think the, the one word that comes to mind when I play her and I'm trying to portray her is warmth. Um, she's the most beautiful, bubbly, warm, character, um, patient, which I'm not at times, so um, that's been quite new for me to explore, my patience, um, and yeah, just basically just her warmth and her, and her compassion, her empathy, um, to all, to, especially to the Beast, but to all these characters that she meets along the way. Just let, allows you to explore so much range, doesn't it? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like you said, you know, Jiri to Mrs. Potts oh. is is night and day even though the shows shows some similarities and in, even, in which way and even though there's some a lot of continuity in some level because because of that kind of uh the mothering aspect i i, yeah. I guess in some ways yeah, um, I guess, yeah. also uh just uh the fantastic music and score um because <sighs> of alan menken and um uh, is, yes yeah. alan the late um how uh, what's your favorite song considering all that because you know it's, gosh um, can I say mine? <laughs> it is the title track. It is the Oscar winner. So yes. I can't go past it. I mean, there are so many 
beautiful musical numbers in this show with epic performances and choreography, which I love watching side of stage every night. But there's nothing quite like performing Beauty and the Beast to Sydney audiences, a full house at the Capitol Theatre. It's, like I said, a beautiful, beautiful responsibility. I feel very honoured and privileged. Thank you so much for your time. Extremely looking forward to the premiere tomorrow Thank you. night. I hope um, you enjoy it. Yes, uh, break a leg. Best of luck. Thank and, you. Uh, thanks very much for your time again. Thank you so much. Ah, guest. Be our guest. Hello. Put our service to the test. Tie your napkin round your neck, Sherry, and we'll provide the rest.